a very special story because I'm the one who wrote it. My story is available as softcover and hardcover in www.brebooks.com. Let me narrate the story to you, friends. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Alfheim. It was the kingdom of light, and a king named George ruled it. The people who lived in the kingdom were very happy because King George was a very good emperor. There was another kingdom to the north of Alfheim. It was Northgard. It was an icy kingdom full of snow, coldness, and ice. It was ruled by King Pengua. And to the south of Alfheim, there were the Heartstoppers. They were vicious monsters who could kill anybody with a touch, and they could shapeshift into any form they like. Their kingdom was called Necromantian, and their kingdom was very cruel and harsh. Their king was called All Terror. No knight or soldier has ever came back alive by going into their kingdom. Everything was going great until a dragon attacked Alfheim. It started destroying the palace. The main soldier came to King George and asked, Sir, what should we do? A dragon is attacking our kingdom. And King George replied, Evacuate all the people, put it on lockdown, and fire those cannons. And they started um, shooting the cannons. While doing this, the floor, the roof on King George's castle fell down and King George died. Nobody knew this and started attacking the dragon. Finally, after killing the dragon, they went back to repair the palace. There, they saw the dead body of King George. They were very sad, and then they found out that the dragon had been one of the Heartstoppers, and they declared war on the Heartstopper kingdom. But they needed help, because the Heartstoppers were too powerful. So they rallied their wizards and knights and headed north. Can you guess where they went? Yes, they went to Northgard. As soon as they reached north of, you know, the place, they experienced so much cold that everybody started to freeze. And finally, they saw a cave. In that cave was a blue egg. And above that blue egg was an ice dragon. It roared and started attacking them. They thought they could steer around the cave, but there was no other way to go to Northgard. And this dragon was one of the guardians of Northgard. So they started fighting. The knights started distracting the dragon and the wizards finished it off. They again continued their journey and finally they reached the palace of King Pengua. They reached there and went inside, and they saw that nobody was there. It was eerily strange, and they saw that no one was there, not even any life form was there. And they started searching the whole castle, and finally, when they reached the top floor, they saw that King Pengua and his guards were all tied up to pillars. They untied them and asked what had happened, and they replied, the Heartstoppers. So they had a mutual enemy, so they joined their forces and walked toward, you know, the south of the region so that they can get to Necromantium. But one thing was in their way, a big river. They cannot cross the river because Alfheim didn't have any navy support. So King Penwa used his navy to transport all the soldiers to Necromantium. Once they reached there, they set camp and they, you know, slept. The next day, they woke up and started towards Necromansion. 
On their way, they killed a few heartstoppers and continued their journey. With so much difficulty, they finally reached the castle of Altera. They found a very large hill and set camp there. The next day, they started fighting with the heartstoppers there. They saw many trolls, dragons, and other magical creatures, which should have been the heartstoppers, because the heartstopper can change to any um, animal, right? So they started fighting, and they were very tired. Many of them were killed, so they were treated back to the hill and slept. The next day, early morning, they planned that this time the wizards should fight. And when they got out, they saw that many heartstoppers had followed them, and now they were taking place of fire demons. They had shifted into fire demons, and the wizards were very scared. But they knew they had to stop them, so they fought. It was like a pure arc of destruction, and finally they had won. They reached the castle when they saw the King Altera himself. He was standing there, and he challenged them to fight him. He turned into a very large dragon they had never seen before. It was much larger than the ice dragon and very large than the dragon that attacked Alfheim. This, They remembered how they defeated the ice dragon in Northgard. They distracted them with the knights and the wizards finished the dragon off. Like that, finally, they killed all Terra himself. All the soldiers re returned to their respective kingdoms and lived happily. King George's son, King Charles, became the new king of Alfheim, and everything went well. The whole realm was very peaceful. Thank you, friends. This story name is The Realm of Croatia. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.